we will do some more. We're back with some more ratings, right? You guys seem to be liking these. So we'll talk through them and then we'll talk through some of our points, right? So we'll do the next maybe five or six squads, right? Um, but as I said, give me, if you're sending squads in, give me some more information. Like, do you want to just show your squads and be like, oh, this is, you know, my 100 rated squad with every player 100 rated? Um, or do you actually want advice on like how, you, how you're playing? Are you struggling? Are you conceding too many goals? So this is on mobile. Um, obviously, I'm just taking this this as, as straight up. I would say with this squad, again, I'm not a massive fan of Mbappe. Like, I do prefer him through the middle, but I'm not a massive fan of him. Um, Pavard at the back, that's a very, very, very solid back line. Some people love Bastoni, some people don't like him. I haven't used that version of Bastoni, but I've used other versions of him. And I would always prefer Tommy Yasu if you have him. Uh, it doesn't look like you have. Oh, it does. You have Tommy Yasu right back. I would probably switch Tommy Yasu in there with Bastoni. Um, but again, very solid, especially if you go in leading at halftime. And then, of course, we also have Guti. Guti's definitely one of the most slept on players. So this is a very, very strong side. Any team that has players 95, 96, 97 overall... Um, I mean, you should be able to win most games with that. Like, it's not paid to win, but it, it, it like, you look at the squad that you have at your disposable, disposal. Every single player there is an unbelievable player. At a push, I'd probably look to play Pedri more than Guti. Um, or if you're lacking a bit of creativity, I would probably go with the two up front and take off Gakpo. So I'd switch Gakpo up here and then probably put in, you know, maybe somebody like Target Man. But that would just personally be me. Um... Busby boy. So this is my squad and I love it. I've added super sub to Gabby Rashford and Van Nistelrooy. So I change the strikers from game to game. Irwin, Irwin overlaps on the right and Neymar can hit it well with both feet. There's nothing to review really on this one. It's just a sick squad. I mean, you've pretty much got every player in the game. Tommy Yasu and Carlos on the right. Irwin and Neymar are on the, are on, on the right. Tommy Yasu and Carlos on the left. Uh, Maldini 101 overall. I mean, there's nothing really I can say about this squad. I mean, it's a collective strength of 3 0 16. Insane, right? Obviously, you said there you've super sub on Gavi and you swap out Rashford, Raval, or Romario, or Leao. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a scary team to come up against. You know, it is a scary team to come up against. And as you said, you're playing whichever Van Nistelrooy up front whenever you can. Any suggestions to, from Zilkow's team? Okay, so we're playing a 5 2 1 2 here. With kind of like a sweeper Cannavaro, Cardoba, Bastoni. Again, lads, this is an insane squad that I can't really improve upon because you've literally got every single player that you could possibly want in this squad that you could have on the bench, on the starting. Um, it is a personal choice. You do, I would probably start Romanegi instead of Oshie or Salah just because his player ID is ridiculous depending on how you train him. Um, but I do like this squad. Messi as an attacking midfielder. Valverde I mean if I was playing this squad genuinely I would probably target Collar so much in this that it would just be raining crosses in because once I get past your break and you're getting it in between Cardoba and Cannavaro I know all I need is one chance with King Collar for the crosses so that's what I would focus on all the time against this um that's why I would focus on it man but I would say that um I would say that uh, that that is a team that like you can't really be blaming your squad if you lose or you lose games with that. Like if you're struggling for games like that, um, because that is a that is a very 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 strong side. To be fair, uh, the discard link lads, a Spangly is spamming it there, so I will pin that up. There we go. Right, my squad so far. Any suggestions? Okay, so this I can work with, right? So this is kind of what I would say a fairly beastly squad, but not a massively like overpowered meta squad, right? Reese James, I like. You don't see him often. He's playing meta three at the back with Ruben Diaz, De Ligt, and Rudy. Uh, Neuer in goals. Neuer is hit and miss, right? I think Neuer is a free 97 overall goalkeeper. Is a no-brainer if you've got nominating contracts and you need to spend them. But he's definitely not the best goalkeeper in the game, right? I have two trains of thoughts with the goalkeepers. If you do a lot of manual goalkeeping and you call the goalkeeper a lot, use a goalkeeper that's under 190 CM, okay? Casillas, um, any of those guys, um, Navas, any of those guys. If you want the goalkeepers to just save as much as they possibly can, 
Use one of the bigger base goalkeepers. Courtois, Donnarumma, Neuer, whoever. Um, De Ligt, Rudy and Ruben Diaz. I like that. I like that a lot actually with Reese James as a right back. The thing is, if you're going to be crossing in into the box here, um, you have two options on one side and you've got Davies on the left because you're not going to be running with Ruben Diaz. I would probably switch this because you're playing effectively a three at the back with Reese James as an attacking threat. I would switch to long ball counter if you could. And I would probably shove Donadoni up to give Reese James that little opportunity to get up a little bit and then Fabinho to sit back with defensive. But that's a very solid team. I'd be interested to know what rating you are with that team. A very solid team. Okay, we've also got Rizos. Again, this is a fantastic side. Pretty much not much I could I could I could I could uh improve upon this. Saviola and Hullet up front with Kaka, uh Cafu Nakunku, Inzaghi as an impact player. I mean, there's not much more I could do with that squad, lads. Genuinely, this is a flex squad. Uh it is a beast. But I'm telling you, lads, if Collar was on this squad coming up against that backline, I'm targeting Rhinildo and I'm targeting Timber. Because 90% of the time, when you're actually defending, right? It's to feet. It's balled into the ground and you score a lot of those goals. So that's why you have to switch it up a bit, right? And 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 play your own game, but also bring in your other uh, people into it. Um, and that's what I would do there. So, I mean, s serious squads with the sub-tactics. Saviola, Hullet, Kaká, and Kunku. Again, this is just streamlining everything. It's an extremely good team. Knows what you're doing, Rivas. I know why you setting up this squad. Long ball counter with this starting off and then the sub-tactic. Absolutely insane. Like, it's a brilliant, brilliant squ squad. Bellingham is hit or miss, but that's a personal thing. I would always prefer to have Goretzka in as my box-to-box. -box. That's just me. That's just personally me. That's like having um, Collar instead of Lewandowski or Ronaldo. Some people prefer Ronaldo over Collar. Some people prefer Collar. Mostly people that prefer Collar um, are, you know, able to handle the power of the king. You know what I mean? They're able to handle the power of the Anaconda. So that's why most people don't use him. Not many can actually handle the power, right? But for mere mortals, um, anyone that you can get onto the ball, man, is uh, is going to be good, right? And then last but not least, who else do we have? Okay, we'll do this last one. There's loads of them coming in, but I will do a few more again tomorrow. Mbappe, Salah, Messi, Burkamp, a very interesting squad, right? Uh, Kola Moani is a fantastic option off the bench. Labaka is a brilliant player. Kunde, Musiala, Timber Delict, Rhinildo, and Davies. A lot of people using Davies, lads. A lot of people using Davies now again. I'm going to give him another go again in my main squad tomorrow. We'll be back with that. But yeah, keep the squads coming. If you want to get involved, get in the discard below. I think of about 50 more to go through, but we'll get through them. Um, I'll remember who I finished on here. But yeah, um, that is it for another episode of that. We will be back tomorrow with some more. Um, but yeah, keep them coming in the discard. Link in the description.